Your Davis. Yeah, could I ask for two statements? One of them is actually echoing the point made uh, earlier on. It would be great to get a statement on the timing of the outcome of the extended consultation on uh, travel uh, school transport. Uh, it's been extended to look at this issue uh, over the free travel aspects and the distance. Now, Bridge End traditionally provided more generous than most local authorities in Wales, transport in Wales, but it had a decade of austerity funding. Uh, I noticed that when this was debated in the council chamber, no alternative was put forward by any politician in the chamber to actually move into the statutory minimum. However, I'm looking forward uh, with high expectation to the outcome of the Welsh Government consultation to see whether it puts forward any new proposals in Wales. And I know my constituents are looking forward to that as well. Secondly, could we have um, a statement on the issue of HGV Class 1 uh, uh, testing and training. I've got constituents who are ready to actually go through, to leap through that final hoop to drive articulated lorries, but the cost can be up, up to an in, in excess of £2,000 plus the test fee on top of that as well. And they wonder whether there is UK government support or there is Welsh government support or whether there are companies in Wales that can be spoken to by Welsh government, as I know there are in England, who will actually sponsor candidates now to go through this, to fill in some of that backlog uh, or the absence of uh, hauliers that we currently have. Uh, thank you. Well, I, I, you will have heard my uh, answer to, to Luke Fletcher around the uh, review of the learner uh, measure, and I mentioned that we need to look at the wider issues that that review uh, threw up uh, in the, the end of the previous term of government and whether we need to have a look at the, the scope of the, the legislation more widely to ensure we do have those effective services. Um, in relation to support for HGV drivers to be trained to a class one level, um, there, is, uh, there is the REACT programme, which you'll be very aware of, and certainly uh, there is a grant of up to £1,500 available. That will cover all aspects of training and testing and licensing. So there's that funding which has been available now for about six years, I think. And also Job Centre Plus is running a pilot programme uh, across the UK, and that does include Flintshire and South West Wales. Uh, in collaboration with local authorities and local transport companies, that answers the second part of your questions, uh, around working with, uh, particularly with unemployed people who uh, are looking to be HGV drivers. 